Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example I'll be demonstrating how you can create static menus from your design uh, using a little bit of CSS. So we're going to export this as is first just to take a look at the actual output. So you'll see in our output that we have our content, but it looks like this menu area here uh, should basically be aligned to the bottom of the screen when we're scrolling, uh, regardless of where the content has scrolled to. So if we go back to our design, you can see here that there is a little bit of a margin applied to the bottom, which looks like it's the actual size of this menu. So in XD, what's happened is uh, we've actually assigned the scroll area to the bottom of this menu, but this is not accessible yet in your export. So what you can do is actually just move your design to its original position. Now, if we export this, uh, let's take a look. What we're going to see is that the menu is at the very bottom of the actual content itself. Now we actually want that menu to be at the bottom of the screen and scroll with the content. So we're going to use a little bit of CSS to control this. So this is our tab bar. So let's just create a quick style. Let's call this fixed uh, bottom. Now the reason why we also oh, this is actually incorrect. The reason why we call this uh, fixed bottom is because you can actually fix items in any position you want. So it could be absolute. So that'll be, relatively speaking, wherever it is on your design is where it will always remain on the screen. Uh, it could be fixed to the top, such as this area. And let's actually do that afterwards so that we can uh, demonstrate that or fix to the bottom. So. Uh, Giving it an independent or a unique name kind of helps, well not kind of, it helps in your CSS to organize your layout and your styles a lot better. So let's go ahead and let's actually create uh, our CSS styles. So let's just take a text element, let's make this in the pasteboard. And we're going to call this, let's actually do that again. So let's write some content first. So we're going to be using CSS to do this. And let's give our text element a name. So this is going to be raw code, uh, regardless of whether it's actual CSS or JavaScript that we're adding to our design. So in this case, it's CSS. So let's call it fix CSS. Now, to make something static, uh, basically you at first have to make the position fixed. So let's do that. So the class that we used was fixed bottom. Uh, XD isn't allowing me to tab, but that's fine. So let's go position fixed. Let's go with the Z index simply because what we want is we want this to be higher than uh, the other content. So we always want it on top of the content. Uh, let's make this, uh, relatively speaking, 99. And we could simply stay with this. What this would do is now fixate the, the actual bar at the very bottom. So what we want to do is we want to ensure that uh, this doesn't really happen simply because we want it to stay at the bottom of the screen. So we actually have to place this. So let's go ahead and let's re-export and let's ensure we have fixed bottom We have fixed bottom as the style applied. And we have a style for fixed bottom to change the position to fixed, the Z index to 99, and the bottom to 0. So let's go ahead, let's export. 
Let's ensure we have nothing selected because we're using a pasteboard. We could have localized that style within the artboard. Uh, doesn't really make a big difference. We don't have that much content, so. So at first it'll look like something's wrong or there's a visual error, and there actually is. The reason is when you export, it will actually translate the position of your content. Uh, so for instance, the tab bar has a specific uh, top position in this actual layout. So what we want to do is we want to basically unset the top. So top. Now we could have easily wrote this in a text editor such as Sublime first and then cut and paste, but uh, this is just live. So let's just unset. And we want to add important to ensure that it takes over uh, the previous position. Now once we do that, let's re-export. And you'll see that we now have it aligned to the bottom. Now, you're probably going to wonder why is this extra space here. Uh, this is because we're using our actual uh, pasteboards. So pasteboards will add a little bit of extra content within your design. This is something we're going to update in future versions. So the simple way to address this is that you could localize the code within the actual pasteboard itself. So you'll see that now this is within uh, the content of our static fix menu. And you can click anything to re-export that pasteboard only. Now you'll see that all the content is aligned perfectly as expected. Now I did say that we could also ensure that the top uh, is also fixed when it's scrolling. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So this itself, let's add a style to this. Let's call this fixed top. Now let's simply cut and paste the content we have from our fixed bottom. Let's change this to top. We want the position fixed, the Z index to be 99, uh, but this time rather than the bottom zero, we want the top zero. Now, there are two different ways to do that. We could actually either unset the top, uh, make it inherit, or just set it to the position that we're looking for, which is going to be zero. So, well, unset will actually do the same thing as zero, so let's just leave it as is. Now, if we export this, you'll see that we have complete content that is static and only the area that we want scrollable is scrollable uh, based on our design. So this is quick and easy uh, static menus using Export Kit and Adobe XD with a little bit of CSS.